new at six, the Rhode Island Senate votes on two gun control bills. A short time ago, senators passed a ban on bump stocks as well as the so-called red flag bill. The Massachusetts House passed its own red flag bill yesterday. Their version allows family members to file an order to take guns away from someone who may be a danger to themselves or others. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live at the Rhode Island State House with the details. Steph. Shannon, the difference between that Massachusetts red flag bill in Rhode Island's version is that Rhode Island's red flag bill will only let law enforcement petition a court to take a person's guns away, and that's if they believe they are dangerous, in danger of committing gun violence. The red flag bill passing just a short time ago in the full Senate. The vote was 33 to 1, most Republicans joining Democrats in supporting it. The measure also supported by police chiefs. It's aimed at stopping gun violence before it starts. Now, the bill lead sponsor Senator Mary Ellen Goodwin telling her colleagues the Parkland Florida shooter exhibited red flags before that devastating event but nothing could be done. The alleged shooter's mother herself had even contacted law enforcement regarding her son's behavior. Unfortunately, the state of Florida did not have a red flag law and law enforcement could not intervene to restrict his access to firearms. I see it violating our constitutional rights, but I want to keep our kids safe. That is definitely what we need to do, but I don't see anything in this bill to keep our kids safe. Sadly, Senator, I disagree, but uh, that's what's great about this chamber and great about America. And the Senate also passed a ban on bump stocks today. The same vote, 33 to 1. Those are the devices that can make a gun fire much faster. Now, the House already passed the red flag bill and the bump stock ban last month. There's just one technical step that needs to happen before both of these bills will be sent to the governor's desk. She has said she will sign them. Live at the State House, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.